Virginia. Hey, John, if I'm remembering right, this is the second game in a row where um, a tough first inning, but you were able to rebound and be okay after that. Um, what kind of switches for you after that first inning? How do you get that back on track? Uh, really just trying to figure my my tempo out, the rhythm of the game. And uh, like I knew the first couple of batters, sorry, I have hiccups right now. So it's going to be, it's going to be a process, but, um, but I, I just kind of figure out how to, how my pitches were playing. Change up early on was kind of staying in. It wasn't really fading off. And same thing with the fastball. It was uh, kind of middle of the plate. So as soon as I made those adjustments, we got outs. But um, but yeah, they jumped on me early and uh, wish I could have made a change before that. How did you feel overall today after that first inning? Um, I felt OK. I felt OK. I felt like we pitched We pitched well. We, we threw the pitches uh, when we needed to. Um, in big big situations, we pitched our way out, and I think I think that was uh, that was ideal after the first first inning. But um, but yeah, it was a rough start. But uh, to be able to go six like that, it was it was good. Thank you, Thomas. Hey, yeah, John. Um, when you do get off to a start like that, how do you get yourself back going when? you know kind of the backdrop that this team has struggled on the road and all those all those thoughts could come up how do you keep them from affecting how you pitch just to go one pitch at a time and not so much like dwell on the stuff that happened before um in the first couple at bats like i had to kind of forget what happened there and just kind of treat it as if, as if, as if it were a new game and uh just keep making pitches i mean one if you make one bad pitch it's an opportunity to make a really good one and it's going to work out. So um, that was kind of my thought process for most of the game was just to go one pitch at a time and compete each time. And uh, we'll see where we're at at the end. What is it like kind of being in the room there where after such a good homestand and it's, it just keeps happening to this team where um, you get close to the, getting the win, you can't get the big hit or, or maybe the pitch can't be made at, during a game. How difficult has that been? To do? Oh, it's definitely hurtful. It's hurtful. We 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 know uh, how we've been on the road this year, and and it's been a lot of close ball games. Like we've had a lot of close run, one two run ball games, and uh, you know it's it can, if you look at it as a whole, it can kind of be frustrating. But if you just go based on how you're feeling this week and and uh, you know what you're up to up up to do up to the task for, and uh, I think. If you're in that kind of a mindset, rather than just thinking about it as a whole or the numbers or whatever, I think you're going to be in a good spot. But that's where we kind of have to go. It's we've been. I, I don't know. If, I mean, I don't think we've been thinking about it too much. But you know, we've got to just play our game and and uh, focus on the future. Thanks. Kevin Henry. Hey John, it looked like uh, some of the success that you were having uh, was whenever you were getting the ball higher up in the strike zone, especially the fastball. Is that is that an accurate statement? Yeah, I would say so. I think the, uh, the first three or four hits were, were uh, balls down in the zone. And, uh, you know, once you started changing eye levels, things did turn out differently. I thought we started to get more awkward swings, um, good takes, and uh, we made some good pitches there. All right, thanks. Larry. Yes, John, when uh, you're, you're getting back on the road, you know, uh, going there, you're like six and 31. And so when you're in close games like this in the ninth inning, uh, is the team as mentally tough or are they just thinking, oh boy, what's going to happen now? Because it's happened so often here on the road. Um, not sure, but I don't, I don't think, we're, I don't think we're on our heels at all. I really don't. I, I, and that could be a problem too if we're thinking that way. But I, I, I don't think anybody out there is thinking like that. But um, yeah, we, I, I think we know what's happened already in the season, and uh, we're just looking for a way to change that. Because I mean, everybody's kind of fed up with it. So, um, but there's, there's also you know, so much you can do, and then you get you like to worry about what you can do, what you can control. So uh, you know, I think everybody collectively is doing that. So. Uh, I think we're going to find our way out of this right soon. I can't remember over the the Rockies time of, of being so solidly in one position. You're 
15 games or so out of third place. You're about 15 games ahead of the of the Diamondbacks. What goals do you look at uh, in a position like this as far as the rest of the season is concerned? See, we're in that spot where we kind of have like nothing to lose right now. So it's kind of to see how far we can get, how, you know, how, how close we can push it to. So, um, and I think there's still a lot of baseball left to be played to, to even uh, make some changes in that. So, um, yeah, I think, I think we've got to focus on the positives and we can't really think about the past. And the past is negative and uh, we've got to let go of that. But we have a really good team. I think we have really good players and to see what we could do in the second half, I think that's going to be important for us.